Uh, just a short recap traders. I'm going to finish in green today thanks to ZM and Nvidia mainly thanks to ZM. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about what happened today in terms of first of uh, you know um, the psychology of a trader or the mental behavior of a trader after a big losing day and I had a big losing day yesterday and I had to recover and the first thing you need to do and I have talked about it yesterday and I have also talked about it today the first thing you need to remember when you have a big losing day is that your mental capabilities are not as they were the day before I mean it happens throughout a losing day or definitely after a losing day I finished down one of my one of my worst days yesterday my one of my worst days ever yesterday and although I kind of felt like uh, okay I could recover that's not true because deep in the, deep inside me I know that I'm not as capable as I was the day before so what I personally did, I reduced my size to approximately a third of what I usually trade. I limited my loss to somewhere near $2,000, which is, may sound to you a lot, I mean per trade, may sound to you a lot, but it's more like a third of what I'm usually allowing myself to get into. And that worked out fine for me because as you can see here, I did have a first winner, a very small one in work. But then I had a loser in Tesla, as I planned, around $2,000. Three losers in Tiffany's, which takes me to $6,000. So at that point, I was red. Then came ZM and NVIDIA. But before ZM and NVIDIA came, which took me back to green territory, the thing I want to discuss here is the fact that I was down. I started my day down. And if you add that to what happened to me yesterday, then the total overall feeling, mental feeling, if I had like a regular quantity today, I would, would have been down so much with Tesla and Tiffany that I could not have recovered from that. I would probably have stopped if I had my regular size. I would probably have stopped, had my second, uh, just a regular bad day, let's call it like that, with normal size. And then, you know, what happens the next day? I don't know. I mean, you, you go with... Uh, uh, with the baggage of uh, two losing trades like that, two losing days like that, one very big one, the other one, let's call it a normal, but then you get, go to the third day and, 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 and your mental uh, uh, situation, the way you start trading is even more deteriorating. So it worked out to me for me fine today because in dollar, dollar wise, I wasn't down too much. I could handle the relatively small loss for me with Tesla and Tiffany's. And of course, I did not yet have the $6,000 loser in Tiffany's. I had like uh, two or three, I can't remember. So anyway, I was down like uh, four or five grand with a small winner in, in work. That's no big deal for me. And I could have handled that easily. That's why I took my ZM trade and NVIDIA. So starting from the point where I had, I knew I need some kind of a, uh, different mental behavior, different mental touch to my trading today. I started with small size. That allowed me to come back to green territory today with ZM and NVIDIA, which I traded like, let's say, just normal uh, trades I would usually take. Now, of course, the market was moving higher today. And look at uh, ZM. ZM was posted, and I'm still long, at uh, 496. So if you take a look at 496, which happened right over here, some pullbacks but then a big big move up and you've got uh, 10 points now and if you take a look at uh, ZM uh, ZM started uh, also 366 right over here and added over uh, 368 sorry added over 370 and that uh, look at where it is right now we've got uh, getting close to uh, uh, to the 20 point mark so both of them uh, really worked out for me now you may wonder why am I up $10,000 in ZM? Well, ZM is an opportunity that I saw coming along. I started it with a relatively small quantity as I planned, planning like a $2,000 winner, $2,000 loser. So how come I've got a $10,000 winner? Well, the thing is I added over 370. And um, I mentioned that in the trading room, I saw this opportunity. I knew I had to take it because 
uh, at that point ZM bounced down a few times and once it returned to my trigger point and moved over 370 I was quite sure it's going to move over the highs and that's where I also waited for it which originally I did not expect to wait for it I was I was uh, my target was just at the highs and then I let it go over the highs so I took uh, more profit because I saw the opportunity I also added more quantity at 370 so although I was planning to trade smaller size I took ZM with a little bit more size now a little bit more size still not uh, still lower than my regular size but I did double on ZM when I saw the opportunity and uh, the end result of course is getting back to green territory so uh, mentally wise I feel much better today I am uh, after a green day I have recovered and I did the right thing and I did manage to finish in green so what comes next tomorrow probably just a regular day up or down we'll see about that thank you very much for being with us today traders if you're on YouTube and you're watching this please give us a thumb up that will help our channel and I'll see you all tomorrow bye traders thank you for watching our video before you go, we invite you to join the TradeNet trading room for a free 14-day trial. TradeNet has educated more than 30,000 professional traders worldwide since 2004, and its trading room is one of the world's leading trading communities. Click here to start your free trial. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.